Hello everyone, my name is Yi and I'm an incoming freshman at Caltech. Uh, since I still have around 20 days left before moving in, I figured that I would share a lot of the information I learned from the past admission cycle before I forget everything. You know, I was considering filming those uh, college student reaction videos, but I just didn't have the courage back then to film it because I was too way too stressed out. Anyway, the main motive behind this video is really to demystify a lot of misconceptions about Caltech. Trust me, you don't need to cure cancer and be as annoying as Sheldon Cooper to get in. I also want to provide as much accessible information as possible because I just can't stand all the college consulting businesses charging thousands of dollars for something that should be free. All of these are my personal opinions, so please take them with a grain of salt and carefully consider how they are applicable to your own specific situation. Some of the advice that I'll be talking about could be applicable to other colleges as well, while some are more specific to Caltech. So let's get started. First, for the 2021 to 2022 and 2022 to 2023 upcoming two application cycles, Caltech is completely test blind, which means the only quantitative aspect that you will turn in is your GPA, which is also somewhat subjective to your high school as well. So really don't stress over your test scores. I know people in my high school who stress over uh, twos, threes, fours on their AP exams, but in the end, they don't really matter. At to Caltech. I didn't have a SAT score uh, when I applied and I still ended up getting into some amazing schools. And I know there's people who simply not good at standardized test taking or people who simply don't have the resources to study for them. If that were you, I would highly recommend not wasting your time trying to improve your scores and rather spend your time on the things you are actually interested in, maybe doing some passion projects or just reflecting upon yourself who you really are. Because Caltech is test blind, that just means that the subjective components, mostly your essays, are even more important now. I think the reason that so many insanely smart, well-accomplished people who still get rejected every year is that they lack self-reflection and that it will clearly show through your essays. So now I will go in depth about each of the Caltech supplemental essays and break it down for you. In my opinion, Caltech has the most demanding supplemental essays out of all colleges, and you really need to write a lot. Of course, the Common App essay is extremely important as well, but because of how demanding these supplemental essays are, I personally believe that for Caltech specifically, the supplemental essays are equally as important, if not even more, than the Common App essay, which means you should pay close attention to these prompts. Personally, I think my Caltech supplemental essays were the strongest ones that I turned into out of all colleges, and uh, the decisions I have received from colleges certainly reflect that. Caltech has six supplemental essays in total. Three of them are 120 words, and three of them are 400 words each. So let's start with the shorter ones. The three 120 word essays actually have the exact same prompt, which is describe three experiences and or activities that have helped develop your passion for a possible career in a STEM field. I was reading the applying to college subreddit the other day and saw people complaining about this prompt because they thought they have to kind of brag about, you know, all their accomplishment in these essays. And that's simply completely wrong. This prompt really asks for the process of how you were inspired to do STEM related stuff rather than what you have accomplished. Because you already fill out the activities and awards section, you want to avoid repeating the same information. So some of the examples that came to my mind include maybe, you know, when you do makeup, you become very intrigued about how these chemical components work and you just can't stop researching about it. Or maybe when you help your parents plant seeds in the garden, you become very curious about how plant science work and how magical it is. Another example could be, you know, when you play string instrument and you really wanted to know how string vibrations can create a beautiful sound through physics. The point is that you want to describe a short, preferably two to three sentence story 
about how your interest was inspired or strengthened, and maybe briefly mention what you did after the inspiration. This is also a great place to show that you are interested in interdisciplinary study, connecting different dots together. I would recommend reflecting upon some of the usually neglected details in your everyday life. Sometimes you don't even realize that these are the reasons behind your interest. I would also suggest that you start writing these essays after you finish the longer ones that I will be talking about later on. So you can be sure to fill in the gap using these shorter essays. The next three essays are quite long, but they are also extremely important. So we'll pay close attention to these. If you have limited time to spend brainstorming and polishing your essays because you procrastinate or whatever, I would recommend focusing on these three rather than the shorter ones. So the first prompt is, much like the life of a professional scientist or engineer, the life of a techer heavily relies on collaboration. Knowing this, what do you hope to explore, innovate, or create with your Caltech peers? Since the word limit is 400, that means you can tell a very thorough story here. The theme here is collaboration, but the tricky part is that the prompt also seems like a why Caltech essay. I actually really like how they word this since they give you this very clear direction of collaboration to start from rather than a generic why do you want to attend Caltech prompt. I usually feel lost when I see that kind of prompt because I didn't really know where to start. I mean, I want to attend Caltech because Caltech, right? So let's start from collaboration, shall we? For this essay, collaboration is the story you want to tell. And most importantly, collaboration is not just limited to STEM classroom learning. Rather, it can happen everywhere. It could be working with your co-workers in local restaurants or simply helping your parents. For example, I wrote about working with my family when we did DoorDash together. Next thing to keep in mind is transition from the story to what you want to do at Caltech. And I would say this is the most challenging part. You don't want the transition to be too abrupt and too forced. And honestly, what you want to do is really not as important as how you have collaborated before. So this is going to require some research about Caltech and see how you can connect your experience to activities you want to participate at Caltech. So personally, I connected how painful an experience DoorDash is because the app just sucks to how I want to develop better apps that I really care about its users at Caltech's programs. The emphasis here is on what you did that shows collaboration, not what you want to do. Everyone could talk about the things they want to do at Caltech, but it's the story that you have that makes you a unique, intriguing person. The next one is about having fun. The prompt is, Caltech students are often known for their sense of humor and creative pranks. What do you like to do for fun? I actually had an incredibly hard time writing this because I had spent so much time focusing on the things that I thought to be important that I kind of forgot what fun really meant. Ideally, you should be able to smile when you read your own story. And I highly recommend that your story captures a moment of something fun. And the activity that you describe is preferred to be an interactive group one don't limit yourself to something that you do all the time. If this moment of fun could only happen occasionally, that is totally fine too. I remember when I applied, I was reading an essay about how the author messing around with her friends at Walmart and ended up getting kicked out, which was really fun and enjoyable to read for sure. If you can add a little bit of a prank component to it, that would be perfect, but if not, don't force yourself. I'm actually very excited to share this essay, but I don't want this video to get too long. So I will share the essay in a future video and I will link it down below once I upload it. I think the very last essay is the most important one. And the prompt goes, the process of discovery best advances when people from various backgrounds, experiences, and perspectives come together. How do you see yourself contributing to the diversity of Caltech community? Because Caltech is such a small community, it is very crucial that each person can bring something that fosters this diversity. This seems a quite cliche prompt, but it really does require very serious thinking. If you look at the word diversity, you may think, oh, it's about race or gender. And if you are Asian male, then you are like, what do I do? 
In reality, Caltech is race blind, and diversity doesn't necessarily mean your race. Rather, it's more of diversity in thoughts, in abilities, and in perspectives. The story you talk about should be extremely personal to you. It should really shape the way you think about certain topics. I do think that usually one's families affect them the most. So you could potentially start brainstorming from things that happened between your families that eventually shape your world view, and you feel that is a valuable perspective to contribute to the Caltech community. Similar to the collaboration essay, the story itself is more important than how you can contribute. I hope the advice would help you as you navigate through your college application journey. If you find this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you could leave a thumbs up to this video. Please let me know if there's any questions or anything else you would like to hear more about in terms of college applications, Caltech, or just life in general. Thank you for watching and best of luck.